Good afternoon. It's not raining. Welcome to Northumberland Zoo on YouTube. My name is Maxine and I work here. And on today's video, I want to show you our latest development. Look, Rainforest Lookout is now officially opened. We opened it yesterday for the first time and obviously all the animals got to kind of see public for the first time and uh, it went really well. So let's go in and, uh, and take a little look. But first of all, let's appreciate uh, the time and effort that's been put into this cool theming. So we went and cut some branches and Lucy carved out some shapes of animals. Uh, here we have an agouti. Uh, that's a white-faced sake monkey, which we don't actually have yet on site, but we will. Uh, and that is a goaldi's monkey. We decided not to do a silhouette of a pygmy marmoset because you wouldn't see it. So anyways, this is what you'll be greeted with if you come down. So. Uh... So last week we let the pygmy marmosets out into the Rainforest Lookout building for the first time and I want to share that footage with you because it's some of the most fun footage I've ever actually recorded here at the zoo and I've never actually worked with pygmy marmosets before so um, I don't really know much about their behaviours but I've really really enjoyed spending some time hanging out with them. Uh, and it was quite funny to watch them as they did actually start to explore their environments that they were so... Um, very very conscious about where I was, where the camera was, where the other keepers were in the area and it's amazing to see how quickly they move behind the branches. Uh, so I really want to share some of this video with you. It's amazing. So, what's the plan? Ben is here. Ben is um, here. Yeah, have you put the food out for them? Uh, I've got the goody food out. Um, I fed them to the other side so they're not round the doorway. It's cool. Um, but I've got the food in there ready. Okay, lovely. So what's so the plan then? We're going to put some food in the uh, feed platform areas. So they've got some fruit and veg uh, and they've got um, their gum, which is like one of their favourite things. So we're going to put that there. We're also going to put some in the tunnel between the house and the mm. um, massive rainforest just to try and sort of encourage them to go in there, maybe have a little look around. Um, they took quite Very a long... <laughs> yeah. They took a long time to go into the second. to the second holding pen. Okay. So I'm not expecting them to suddenly go out. And, but we'll see. We might surprise we'll be you. swinging from the trees <laughs> and having the best time. Yeah, yeah, who knows? <laughs> so, who what's the plan then regarding like staffing and stuff? Are you having someone post in here this afternoon and then just keep an eye out, or? Yeah, we'll probably just kind of take turns really, just keeping an eye on them. But our plan is not to have too many people in because yeah, it's just gonna make them wary really. What have yeah, you got? I've got some gum, some veggies that they're going to love, and I've got some hazelnuts that you get. I thought treat. that was a snail for a second. Oh, no. <laughs> Just some hazelnuts. <laughs> okay, cool. I'll follow you. It's not terrible, are you? Yeah, he is. Okay. Yeah, he's going to be I'm waiting for him to say, come in. <laughs> 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 you can see the mesh, it's a mesh tunnel. Okay. So you just start like watching out. So you can see the bowl there, so hopefully it's his favourite food, so hopefully you'll know that's there. Oh I see, yeah. It's a dinky little thing. That's miles away. You think they're gonna make it over there? No. No. <laughs> I'll probably go there, so then that way it's <laughs> How far do you think they're gonna go, Hannah? I wouldn't be surprised if they don't come out all day. Would surprise me. Um, but if they don't come out, are you planning on locking them back in tonight? I think that would be, like, be a good idea because I think what might happen otherwise is they come out overnight and then we can't find them in the morning. So I think if they don't come out, we'll shut them in and we'll try again first thing. Well, if one comes out, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> They've got one up oh, here, one well. at large. <laughs> <sighs> then we'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it, <laughs> like so many. <laughs> situations we face in life. Oh, yeah. So they're just popping some food out now for them. Um, they're going to be coming hopefully out of that left hand pothole there but like Hannah says if they've taken a good few days just to go into the next holding pen they might not be over keen on like coming out into here but uh, we shall see.
some agouti behind me that are quite keen to get to the food that's been dropped before. They're gaining confidence, definitely. Um, but we cannot believe how quickly these pygmy marmosets came out. And when it gets to four o'clock, well... So the pygmies have had access for about two hours now. And apparently they've made it quite far. So I'm just gonna go in and see what they're doing. I have to put me glasses on just so I can see them because they're so small. See so yeah, how the pygmies kind of disappeared straight away when I seen them earlier. Uh, especially if you move or you look at them, they just freeze. So trying to spot them is pretty tricky. So I want to try and get some shots of them. Hello. How's it going, man? All three around. Yeah, what are they doing? Not like away, but like... They're out, out. Yeah, I'm just grab it onto the lovely mossy log and stuff. Oh yeah. So how far have they made it then? Yeah, it's perfect. Okay. On this, on this mossy one. Hello. Hello, you alright? How are you doing? I'm about yourself. Yeah, good. Good. So are you on this section today? I am, yeah. Cool. Yeah. How do you think the pygmies have settled in? They're getting a lot more confident. Um, so there's two of them that are sort of hang around in the main enclosure. One sort of is a bit more nervous, he tends to run back in. But it's like his little safety net and his little holding pen. Yeah. But yeah, they're getting on better. Um, we're just gradually trying to encourage them to get closer to the window. But. So how far is like the, how far have they actually come so far that you've seen them? Uh, about three metres out, so I mean, it's, it doesn't sound like a lot, but for a little tiny monkey it's quite wide. It's quite um, wide. So yeah, like the, we're trying to encourage them slowly like, over towards the big concrete tree um, and then gradually start feeding them under here and um, so we'll get like quite close to the windows. They're getting there. And how are the Agouti doing? The Agouti doing really well. Uh, yeah. They're really, really confident. So there's a couple, uh, well one of them sits around here. Um, she's the more confident of the two, she'll come right over and she'll like eat right in front of you. Um, the other one, she gets quite close but not too close, she's quite cautious but yeah, she's a lot more confident than, than normal. Have you guys got names for them yet? Not yet. Not yet. Well, not that I know of. <laughs> not that you know of? <laughs> no. I think there's a, there's a couple of little uh, sort of suggestions but... Okay, what's the uh, suggestions? I think there's sort of like different types of nuts, so like peanuts, hazelnut, like things like that. Because just now they're very, very similar so we don't really, we can only tell them apart by personality, so yeah. okay. it's quite difficult. Yeah. Hopefully oh. it won't be too long. <laughs> no, we're good. We're cool. Thank yeah. you. No worries. So, when you come to the zoo, uh, you'll be able to come in here and have a little look in our public area. Uh, and like Ben says, uh, the pygmy marmosets are actually hanging out right down in that bottom corner. So bring your binoculars or your zoom lenses 
uh, and they have been seen sitting on that box in the very, very corner because the keepers do put some of their feed on that box there. And they've been hanging around those trees in the very, very back corner as well. So I know that seems like miles away, but they will eventually make it across this forest. Um, but the idea is once we get the other species of primates in here, hopefully that will help the pygmy marmosets maybe feel a little bit more confident that there's other primates in here and hopefully they'll travel a little bit further. But we don't know. But it's up to them. Obviously, we don't force them out of that holding area. They still have access to that holding area 24 hours a day. So that is their safe place. So if they do get spooked, they literally take off through there. But when we released them for the first time the other day, um, me and Hannah and uh, Ben, actually, we were all there, weren't we? We had little bets on how long it would take. And Hannah guessed it would take six hours for them to come out. But you know what? They were out of that door within three minutes. Uh, which I was massively surprised about and we had put a little dish of their gum uh, just on the uh, slide entrance there and they were straight out and left their heads in it so you can tell what really motivates them. Hello. Hello. All right. Yes. You seen pink mumsets flying around the place? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll put the lights on though. Okay. So uh, do you want to talk us through the interpretation that we did? Oh yes, so we've got um, two of the four species in here, um, so some of it is still a little bit of a surprise, although I feel like you may have already told our viewers um, on YouTube, um, but at the moment we've got pygmy marmosets and we've got the Azara zaguti. Um, so they're all from South America, but they are from different parts of South America, so we've got this uh, map here which kind of shows you where all four species are from. Um, and there, there is a slight crossover in sort of habitat type, so it does make sense for them to all be in this kind of tropical rainforest style exhibit. Um, but they are all from slightly different parts of, the, of South America, um, which is really cool as well because they all have slightly different conservation issues as well, slightly different threats. So that's kind of what we went for with that one. And then this is, we call it rainforest lookout. So we're kind of trying to give it a bit of a, a hut in the rainforest, maybe like a researcher's hut kind of vibe. Um, so these are some... Uh, observations that we've made of the animals and it helps our visitors to actually give some clues as to how they might be able to see them in the exhibit here as well. So the little tiny pygmy marmosets, which are the smallest monkeys in the world, are quite tiny. Um, but they're very fast moving as well, so they kind of ping around and they move around tree branches really quickly and like jerky. Um, so if you just kind of stand still and look at a spot, you might see little like movements in the trees. I'd say that's the best way to spot the pygmy marmosets. The two Azara zaguti are a little bit different because they're, they're quite large, um, sort of size of a rabbit. And they're always on the floor, so they can't climb trees. So if you're looking for them, look down. Um, and they are quite confident, so they kind of walk all around. We've seen them crossing the bridge. Is there one over here? Yeah, you can just see a little head. Uh -huh. Um, so they, they do like to kind of hide away if they feel threatened, but actually we found them to be really, really confident and comfortable in this new um, exhibit. They've been here, what, two weeks? Mm. Is it about two weeks? Um, yeah, so really, really cool that they're so confident. They come over to the keepers when they feed them. So that's really nice. And we scatter feed them a few times a day as well. So you should see them out and about foraging. So what do you think the... Um, I was just talking to Ben and... Yeah. Um, since the pygmy marmosets got let out last week, uh, they've only ventured about three meters away from the holding area. Mm -hmm. How long do you think it's going to take for them to get 15 meters away from the holding area? So they are, um, they are a territorial species. They will tend to have their own home territory, which is usually based around a tree in the wild that they are. Um, they've kind of chewed little holes in to make the tree produce its gum, which is what they feed on quite a lot. Um, so they kind of use that as their home tree for a temporary period. Um, so they will sort of stay in a territory and they use vocalization. And scent marking and all kinds of ways to communicate that territory as well. Um, but then they do kind of have to move around to find food sources as well. So they are quite comfortable with moving around, but being such a tiny monkey and they are predated by some animals in the wild, Obviously in the zoo here, they're completely safe, but they don't know that, they have their natural instincts. Um, so they are gonna be quite cautious when they're exploring new habitats. It's really nice that we've got these three boys that are really um, tightly bonded already. They came as a trio. Um, and the two of them are really young as well. So they're, they're dead light, confident, and <laughs> they play a lot. Um, so I feel like we've just got to give them a bit of time and they'll start to explore further and further and further. And we'll obviously provide them with food in those areas so that they, it's a nice positive experience and there's something worth exploring for. Yeah, so there you go. There you have it. Uh, the Rainforest Lookout is now open. So come on down, see if you can spot 
our elusive South American animals. Obviously, they are still settling in. We have got some more animals that will be arriving over the next couple of weeks, um, which we'll start introducing. They'll be off show for less periods of time because they're actually larger and they'll be a lot easier for you to spot as well. Um, but yeah, we can't wait to welcome them to the zoo as well. But come on down and see what it's like. Hopefully we'll have a keeper or a volunteer hanging out in this area to try and help you spot the animals too. Um, but if not, if you haven't seen anything in here when you come down, do catch a member of staff in uniform and get them to come down and give you a hand at least to try and spot an agouti as well. Oh, and I just wanted to mention as well, thank you so much for all your support about our flooding situation that we've been dealing with over these last few weeks. It has been a nightmare, but we've managed and everyone has been fine. All the animals have been absolutely fine. We had a couple of concerned viewers about our guinea pig village, but I can guarantee you the guinea pigs are absolutely fine and they're nice and toasty and dry, wrapped up in their Hog Springs, the Pig Inn Hotel. Uh, so we've got some exciting developments coming up with our Hog Springs guinea pig village over the next week or two, if the weather stays dry. Uh, we've got our modifications that we wanna make, uh, which is adding some extra tunnels and some extra hills. So be sure to stay tuned for that. And uh, thank you so much for watching today and thank you for your support. And if you haven't done already, please remember to like this video and subscribe to the Northumberland Zoo channel. And we shall see you next week.